Welcome everyone, how's everyone doing tonight? Thank you all for tuning in, thank you all out on the internet. Um, we're gonna have a real fun show tonight. Uh, I'd first like to introduce the musicians. Tonight we have Miles Wick on the bass. We have Daniel Dufour on the drums. Yeah, man. And Paul Deemer playing trumpet and trombone. Uh, my name is Colin Shook. I am. Uh, um, I'm normally on the uh, production side of things. This is my venue, but I'm also a pianist. And uh, unfortunately, Mike Moynihan was originally going to be on this gig, but because of all the crazy weather we had last week and everything, he was um, unable to make it out from Tucson, Arizona. I spent about four and a half years out there uh, playing with him and everything. So we'll hope to catch him on his next trip when it allows, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and play a set of the tunes that we've selected. Um, if this is your first time here at Two Monks, we are very much a listening room venue. We do have a strongly enforced whisper policy. Usually when I'm back over there, you know, we give you one or two warnings before we eject you from the <laughs> venue. I don't know if you've ever been to Alamo Draft House, but it's the same vibe. Um, <laughs> But tonight, um, if you know you speak during the performance, you know just lean into your friend or your neighbor, whisper into their ear, so that everyone in the room can really enjoy the show on un, uh, undisturbed. Um, if you do speak, you'll have to deal with our crew. Please put your hands together for Pascal and Nolan for running the show tonight. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start in with a tune uh, composed by our brass uh, performer tonight, Paul Deemer. This is called Astral. Thank you.
That's Denny Dufour on the drums. <laughs> Miles Wick on the bass. And that's Paul Deemer on the trumpet there. Um, that first tune again was composed by Paul that was Astral. And then we just played a tune called Let's Cool One, composed by uh, Thelonious Monk. Way back in the day, of course, the namesake of the venue here. Um, thanks so much again, everyone, for coming out. And if you tune in online, you know, we do have a small audience in here. We do appreciate, you know, any patronage you can give on that monksjazz.com slash tips page. Help us to support these fine working musicians and this establishment. Um, I guess we're coming up on about, well, uh... I guess I can't think about months and dates and years right now. Anyway, we're having a lot of fun um, playing here. Uh, <laughs> I had the pre-show jitters. You know, I never really play here. I was thinking about it. The last time I played here was for Monk's fifth anniversary. There's a date. <laughs> uh, back in September. Um, and so it's been that long since I played on the stage for all of you here and people on the internet. It's really a treat playing with these guys. Um, we're gonna continue on with an arrangement that I wrote of a, a Clifford Brown classic. This is a hard bop tune called Dahoud. And I wrote a nice arrangement of it several years ago. And so here is Dahoud, which is Arabic name for David. Dahoud. Thank <laughs> you. 
play something fast now. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually going to slow it down a little bit. We're going to play a Jimmy Van Heusen tune called Darn That Dream. Thank you. 
Time that's Paul Deemer. We're going to move on to um, a blues written by Count Basie. This is called uh, Splanky. Um, and we would like to dedicate this song to a uh, wonderful and powerful and an impactful musician that was here in the uh, San Marcos area, Austin area, Butch Miles, a wonderful drummer impacted so many lives, uh, played with so many legendary figures. You can look him up online and everything, but um, he was also the instructor at the university down in San, San Marcos for many, many years. But um, this is Splanky.
That's Miles Wick there on the bass. Mm. We're going to continue on with a Henry Mancini tune. This is uh, called Moon River from uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Classic, classic film. Oh. You guys having fun out there? I'm having fun myself. You know, somehow I still, after so many shows, get the like pre show jitters and all the, you know, stomach butterfly things happening. But, you know, I really want to start playing more. One of my resolutions was to play at least 12 shows on this stage this year, you know, once a month. And uh, I guess we're ripping the band aid off with this one. Um, one more time for this amazing crew. Yeah. And again, if you're tuning in online, we do have a very small studio audience in here. Very lucky to have you all here enjoying the show on a Monday night, especially. But if you're enjoying from home, please go to that Venmo, the PayPal, all that stuff. Send some tips, you know, five, ten bucks, whatever more if you like. Um, maybe like a 50 or maybe send like a hundred bucks. Maybe like, maybe like 133 or like, you know. All right, this is Moon River.
that was Moon River. I felt like that last little part, we were like finally diving off the waterfall. Maybe the river turns into a waterfall and it's like, I don't know, metaphors. <laughs> uh, we're gonna uh, close out the set uh, from a song that was written all the way back in 1929. Many of the jazz tunes that you hear, uh, especially the you know 50s and 60s instrumental, you know quartets and quintets, stem from early Broadway and vaudeville and all that. Um, there's so much amazing and rich history and, and you know lineage through all the different composers and playwrights and and uh, those kind of touring shows and everything. So this is a tune called "Without a Song." Uh, one more time for Daniel Dufour on those drums. <laughs> That's Miles Wick on the double bass. Paul Deemer on the trumpet and the trombone. Again, my name is Colin Shook. Thank you all so much for coming out on a Monday. Monday night. This is probably one of my favorite Mondays of the past few, you know, however long. Thank you guys. This is Without a Song. Thank you.